Hello everyone, welcome to the show. I'm Boyd Matson. Millions of bison, or what are commonly known as buffalo, once roamed the American plains until they were hunted almost to extinction. Now the American Prairie Foundation, in association with the World Wildlife Fund, is working to bring these iconic animals back where they belong. It's an idea as big as the plains of the American West. To create a prairie habitat that could potentially stretch across a few million acres, larger than anything like it in the continental United States. The massive reserve would be a haven for a number of prairie-based species. But especially for American bison, a long-beloved symbol of the American West. These animals are leading the charge. Reintroduced a few years ago to a protected area, the herd began with 16 animals, and now numbers well over 50. The American Prairie Foundation realizes it's unlikely that they'll be able to fully restore millions of bison to the plains. But they do foresee creating the largest population of these animals on the planet, on a reserve that could eventually encompass 5,000 square miles. That will take a tremendous commitment. Bison no longer live in isolation, so they must be routinely checked for diseases that could potentially spread to domestic livestock nearby. One thing we have to remember is that we are surrounded by hundreds of thousands of acres of agriculture. Those are our neighbors, farmers and ranchers, and it's our responsibility to make sure we maintain good relationships. An example of that is when we bring a new species in, like bison, we need to make sure those animals are healthy and we make those health reports available to our neighbors so they can understand it and they can track our progress and feel comfortable about the direction we're headed. Every animal that we bring in to Montana, we pull blood samples on and assess for diseases. We want to make sure that the animals are free of all reportable diseases so that we have no concerns with our neighbors regarding disease and with wildlife in the area. To minimize stress, the animals are darted with a fast-acting drug. Researchers quickly obtain blood and fur samples for genetic testing and health screening. They also attach radio tracking collars so the herd's movements can be closely monitored. One of the most important things we can do as we build this large prairie landscape and reintroduce bison to it out here in the American Prairie Reserve is to see how the bison use the landscape as they adjust to their new environment. And the information we gather, we can then use to adjust our management to make sure the bison are adjusting well uh, and that we're managing and building the American Prairie Reserve in the best way possible. Bison are uniquely suited to a landscape that other species find inhospitable. Winters bring deep snows, plunging temperatures, and fierce winds. Yet the animals manage to forage, sweeping snow out of the way by using the enormous muscles in their necks and shoulders. Bison metabolism slows by 25%, allowing their 2,000 pound bodies to subsist on reduced calories. The American Prairie Reserve is growing by thousands of acres a year. The foundation hopes visitors will enjoy it, as well as the wildlife and that with some help, a tough species will someday have the room it needs to roam across the American landscape once again. <laughs>